Hello everybody. For a little while now, I've been telling you all that I was going to make a video on how to make magnesium bicarbonate very easily at home. I've been slacking on that, so uh, tonight, since I need to make some, I figured we'd get right to business. Let's take a look at the few ingredients you're going to need to make this. I should probably also mention that I don't want to get into the benefits and the reason that we all should probably be taking magnesium bicarbonate. For those of you who don't know, most of the population is severely deficient in magnesium and magnesium bicarbonate is one of the best forms that we can take. But I don't want to get too much into that. I want to focus on the actual making of it to keep this video short. For those of you who have more interest in it, I was taught how to make this by my friend Matt Blackburn, who has a YouTube channel um, called Divine Superconductor TV. And I believe he has about a 30 minute video on how to make this. And he goes really in depth into why it's super beneficial. I wanna keep this short, so if you're unfamiliar with it and you wanna dive into that a little bit more, I suggest you check out his YouTube channel. The first ingredient you're going to need is magnesium hydroxide. You can get this on Amazon. The second ingredient is going to be calcium carbonate. You can also find this on Amazon. The next ingredient, potassium carbonate, Amazon as well and some high quality sodium bicarbonate, which is just baking soda. I bought this extra high quality on Amazon as well. And you're also going to need a carbonation device. Um, I'm using a soda stream. Uh, there's different ones out there you can get on Amazon. I forgot to mention that you're also going to wanna to start with a really um, high quality water. You don't wanna use tap water for this. You don't wanna just buy uh, spring water in a plastic jug from the store. I mean if you have to I guess you could but you really want to start with the absolute best water you can so preferably um, distilled or um, RO uh, reverse osmosis water um, That's been remineralized and brought back to life um, We use a 12 stage modified RO system from Amica organics and then after it's been cleaned up, we remineralize it, let it brew for a few days, and then it's uh, put through our vortexer to kind of structure it, bring it back to life, and we make the magnesium bicarbonate with that. So you don't have to do that, but you do have to start with a top quality source of water right off the bat, or you're really probably not going to get a very potent product at all. So when I was first shown how to make magnesium bicarbonate, one batch was basically one bottle of about this size. So I'm gonna show you guys the measurements and everything for the ingredients for, for one bottle. But I'm actually going to make a quadruple batch. So I'll show you guys how to make you know one batch, but at the very end, like the measurements, I'm actually gonna quadruple everything, but I'll show you what it's like to make one bottle. I like to make big batches because I get sick of making this like every other day. So I just want to clarify that I'm making a mega batch here, but I'm going to show you exactly how I was originally taught to make it. Okay, so first things first, you've got your purified filtered water here, preferably chilled, and you just fill it up to the, to the fill up line on the carbonation device. And then this just screws into here, really simple tighten it down and then there's a button on the top and you're going to push this and you're going to listen for like a vent where it goes tss, and that means that's like the one shot of carbonation i usually like to let it go um for a couple of those like one two three i'll, I'll explain it in a minute there it is two three and I like to go a little overboard with the carbonation and the main reason being is that the carbonation is going to be the driver for all of the reactions. Um, it's kind of the catalyst. So what I mean by that is the magnesium hydroxide is going to react with the carbon dioxide and make magnesium bicarbonate. Same for, thing for the calcium carbonate. It's going to become calcium bicarbonate and the potassium carbonate will become potassium bicarbonate. The sodium bicarbonate's already bicarbonate and actually won't be added until the next day, but I'll explain that in a minute. 
So once you've added the carbonation, you take it off and you just shake it for a little bit. I like to let it sit for a minute, kind of let that uh, carbonation simmer down. And now let me grab the, here we've got a measuring spoon, it's just a teaspoon. So now I'm going to show you the measurements for each ingredient, which really everything is just going to be like little traces of uh, calcium, potassium, and sodium bicarbonate. And the magnesium we're, want to, we're going to want to go a little bit heavier with. So this is the magnesium right here. And normally this could be added right to the carbonated water, but because I'm making a mega batch, I want to add it all at the same time so all of the ingredients have the same um, ability basically to react, to react with all of the CO2. Like I don't want to add just the magnesium um, first because it, it may react with more of the CO2 than the other ingredients. I kind of want it to be equalized across the board. So here's the magnesium hydroxide and we're just going to do a teaspoon kind of a level level teaspoon i'm just going to put this in this measuring cup because i'm going to do a quadruple batch so i'll i'll remeasure out three more of these in a minute okay calcium carbonate is up next and like i said all of these are just going to be trace amounts we're going to go like really minimal like you don't need a lot just a little maybe just a tip so we're just going to go, you can see there, it's like literally maybe an eighth of a teaspoon, if that. I'm just going to add that to there. So trace amount, so a full teaspoon of the magnesium hydroxide, um, uh, just a trace amount of the calcium carbonate. And here we're going to go with the potassium carbonate. This is a little bit different of a consistency. It's more like little pellets, but about the same, about an eighth maybe. I'm going to add that to that. So that would be one batch would be one bottle of this and the measurements that I just showed you would make one batch of how I was originally taught. I'm going to stop the video for the time being, make three more bottles of the carbonated water which will all be added to this big jar here and then I'll have four, four bottles of the water in here. I'm also going to measure out the rest of the ingredients and then I'll turn the camera back on at the end and show you how you actually mix it. Okay guys, we've got it all measured out for the quadruple batch. There's four of these carbonated bottles of water in here, and all, everything else is measured out in this measuring cup. Um, probably should mention in between when you're adding the carbonated water to, always keep the cap on just so you know, you're not losing more carbonation than absolutely necessary. That's another reason I like to go a little overboard with the CO2. I'm going to move this over to the sink and show you guys uh, what happens when you add all of the ingredients and shake it up. Okay, here we go. So we've got the carbonated water and all of the other ingredients. Keep in mind, we have not used the sodium bicarbonate yet. That will not be added to the solution until later or preferably the next day. But all you're going to do is take the magnesium hydroxide, the uh, calcium carbonate, and the potassium carbonate combination that you measured out and you're going to add it to the carbonated water and there's going to be a strong reaction. It starts bubbling like vinegar and baking soda. Cap it, and you're going to notice it will pressurize and some, some will leak. Just shake it up. There's a strong reaction going on. Maybe shake it a little bit more. Maybe just one more time. And then I'm going to dry it off with a towel and pop it in the refrigerator. So now we're just going to take this and set it in the refrigerator and leave it in there. Set a timer for about an hour or check on it in about an hour and you're going to shake it again. And then preferably leave it in the refrigerator until the next day, the next morning and then add your trace amounts of high quality sodium bicarbonate. Once you've added those trace amounts of sodium bicarbonate the next day, shake it up really good again, put it back in the fridge, and once everything has settled, pour off the top, meaning that if there's any residual powder down at the very bottom, pour off into another container and leave those ingredients that didn't react. You don't really need them. There it is, magnesium bicarbonate. Enjoy your medicine. Much love.